Number 1. Castle of Santa Barbara. Crowning Benicandle Mountain, the vast, monumental rock looming over Alicante, is a fortress with medieval Arab origins. The most recent renovations took place during Spain's Golden Age in the 1500s, but if you look closely you'll find little fragments from Moorish times. Number 2. Explanada de España. Alicante's refined, marble-laid promenade is useful for wayfinding, as it starts in the old town and continues along the city's seafront next to the marina. In most Spanish cities a family walk is part of the lifestyle, and promenades like the Explanada de España help you do it in style. Number 3. Archaeological Museum. Alicante's Marc Provincial Archaeological Museum is just the place if you're wondering about Alicante's origins. You'll start in prehistory with the hunter-gatherers and see the first-hand crafted metallic items forged around Alicante. Then there's the Iberian Room, devoted to the many pre-Roman archaeological sites close by that have yielded wonderful pieces of sculpture and ceramics. Number 4. Casco Antiguo. You won't mind getting lost in the old part of Alicante, a bit like a village at the center of town. This neighborhood is sprawled on the hillside beneath the castle, and to get around you'll need to negotiate steep streets and stairways between high whitewashed walls. Locals take great pride in their homes, decorating their balconies and doorsteps with fresh flowers, and painting their shutters in blues and greens. Number 5. Postigay Beach. Right next to the old town is a very serviceable beach, if you don't want to travel far for a dose of sea and sand. Playa del Postigay is a finger of golden sand washed by very light waves. You have to wade out quite far before the sea even reaches waist height and from the water there are great views back to the dominant walls of Santa Barbara. Number 6. Basilica of Santa Maria. The oldest and prettiest church in the city is close to the foot of the mountain, and a few streets from Postigay Beach. Like many churches in Spain Santa Maria was built over a former mosque after Alicante had been taken back from the Moors in the 13th century. Number 7. Contemporary Art Museum. A fun fact about this attraction devoted to modern art is that it's housed in Alicante's oldest secular building, a former granary constructed in 1687 next to the Santa Maria Basilica. It was founded in 1976 by the Alicante sculptor Eusebio Semper, displaying his private collection. There are some 800 pieces in the collection, representing many of the most celebrated 20th century artists, including Picasso, Francis Bacon, Salvador Dali and Joan Miro. Number 8. Beach Excursions. There's a wide array of blue flag beaches an easy drive from Alicante, you're on the Costa Blanca after all. If you want lots of space then Saladar Beach to the south of Alicante is a 1600 meter long sweep of golden sand. There isn't much by way of tourist development here save a few isolated apartment blocks on the edge of the sand dunes. Number 9. Golf. The Costa Blanca also means an abundance of golf courses. There are 15 within the province, all at reasonable driving distance. If you don't want to venture too far Alicante Golf Club is a 15-minute drive from the city center and was designed by Seve Ballesteros. This 18-hole par 72 makes a nod to the local Roman heritage in the shape of recreated Roman ruins that you have try and avoid on the 14th hole. Number 10. Mercado Central. If you're self-catering then there's no excuse not to head for this large covered market on the upper side of Alfonso el Sabio. Central markets are like food cathedrals in Spain, and Alicante's is no exception. There's a plethora of fish and meat stalls, an endless inspiration for amateur chefs. The seafood stalls are a particular highlight, with their counters almost overflowing with crabs, lobsters, squid and much more besides. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.